Hallelujah. Come on and sing. Hallelujah. Holy. Come on, church. Holy. Are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Amen. Come on and sing it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, holy. Come on, church. Oh, holy. Are you Lord? Are you Lord God? Almighty. You're worthy. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as we get ready to go into the Word, minister to your people on this morning. Father, your Word says, Thy Word, O Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my pathway. Give revelation knowledge. Give wisdom from heaven this morning. Give understanding, I pray. Feed your people this morning. Fresh manna from heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Someone say a good amen. Good morning to you, precious brothers and sisters in the Lord. Now, of course, I'm continuing my theme on power over demons, but what I want to focus on this morning is persecuted for righteousness sake. Persecuted for righteousness sake. You know, Jesus made that statement in the book of Matthew chapter 5 when he was talking about the Beatitudes. Jesus said, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So I want to give you an example of this because you know when you cast the devil out of people and people are set free from demonic powers, everybody is not going to be happy about it. And we'll see something very similar that took place in the life of Paul. Listen to this, Acts chapter 16, verses 16 through 24. The Bible says, and it came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying and divining. She was prophesying by false spirits. She operated with familiar spirits. She had a spirit of divination. She was heavy into the occult, heavy into witchcraft. Are you listening to me? The Bible says this same woman followed Paul and us, this is Luke writing, and cried saying, these men are the servants of the most high God, which show unto us the way of salvation. And this she did many days. But Paul being grieved, Paul just had enough of this demon in this woman, talking and just grieving him. Paul being grieved, turned and said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And the Bible says, and he came out the same hour. And when her masters saw that the hope of their gains, their profits, their money making was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace under the rulers. They were furious at Paul and Silas. Why? Because they cast the devil out of this woman. That demon of divination and witchcraft couldn't make them any more money because the devil was cast out. You got to realize everybody making money is not doing it the right way. These folk were making money through witchcraft. Just, just plain English. Are you hearing me? And after they realized that 
They were not going to be able to rake this money in anymore through demonic powers. They grabbed Paul and Silas in verse 20 says, and brought them to the magistrate saying, these men being Jews do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe being Romans. And the multitude rose up together against them and the magistrates rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. Man, you think everyone would be excited that a woman who was demon-possessed and got set free by the power of the living God, but instead they got mad, attacked Paul and Silas, and threw them into prison and commanded them, to, and, and listen, they, 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 they accused them of teaching stuff that was not according to their customs. So these men were thrown into prison and beaten. Listen to verse 23. And when they had laid many stripes on them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them or guard them safely, who having received such a charge, thrust them, man, they were rough with these fellas, threw them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. But we know what Paul and Silas did. Verse 25 says, at midnight, instead of whining and complaining, Paul and Silas begin to pray and sing praises unto God. And God sent a great earthquake, shook the whole prison up, broke the place up, broke down every prison door, and the chains fell off everyone's hands and off their feet. And when the, when the prison guard came in and saw that all the Doors were broken open. He thought the prisoners had escaped and he was about to commit suicide because he knew he was going to be executed if they escaped. And Paul and Silas said, Sir, do yourself no harm for we are all here. And Paul and Silas led that man to Jesus Christ. So even what the devil meant for evil because they were persecuted for righteousness sake. They were persecuted for casting the devil out. Are you following me, saints? So not everyone's going to be happy when the Holy Spirit works in your life to cast the devil out. When people see God is using you to set the captives free, when people see God's using you to set the captives free, everyone's not going to be happy because, because there's a group of people that are sold out to Satan and you've got to know that they are sold out to the devil. The Bible says we are not ignorant concerning the devil's devices. Amen. We are not ignorant. We are not ignorant. And you got to realize this. Not everyone's on your side, but greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. It only matters that God is on your side. He prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. He anoint our head with oil and our cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we will dwell in the house of God forever. So in this situation, Paul and Silas, they were persecuted for righteousness sake, but God stood with them and broke the jailhouse up, broke it up to the point that in the end, the prison God gave his heart to Jesus. Him and his entire family were saved and they end up setting Paul and Silas free. God is on your side. No matter what the enemy tries to do to stop you, he cannot stop you because God is for you. And Jesus said, upon this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. God is able. God is able to do just what he said he would do. Come on, church. He's going to fulfill every promise to you don't give up on God cause he won't give up on you cause he's able oh 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 he's able he's able oh 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 he's able Cause he's able, 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 listen. 
I just feel this in my spirit that there are some of you under the sound of my voice. You're being persecuted because you are a Christian, you are a child of God. You're being persecuted because of the stand that you are taking. Jesus said in John chapter 16, verse 33, Jesus said, in this world, you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Jesus is with you. He promised never to leave you, nor forsake you. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. He says, fare thou not, for I am with you. I will help you. I will strengthen you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Saints continue to support the work of God. Continue to support the work of God. You can sow a seed, give a donation or offering by visiting us online right now. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash SeanPinder Ministries. PayPal.me forward slash SeanPinder Ministries. You can also mail in your donations. Just remember to make your checks and your money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries. P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas 75011-7442. Never forget me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy. We love you and we care about you. If you did not have a chance to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can do so right now by clicking on the red and white subscribe button at the bottom right of the screen. We'd love to have you a part of our YouTube family. And also, you can join us on Facebook. We have a Facebook group called I Believe in Miracles. Send us a request. We'd love to have you a part of our Facebook group. God bless you. We look forward to being with you again on tomorrow morning as we talk about you have more power than Satan. You have more power than Satan. God bless you. Take care now. We love you. Bye-bye.